Hmm. I seem to have something in a trailer. <laughs> Someone let me in a trailer and said, take this. Uh, it'll cost me something. Not sure yet, but... Yes, that's a decent old press. Now I'm wondering how the fuck I'm going to get this off the trailer by myself. Because it's not light. <laughs> so, hmm. Things I get. I just have to say, holy fuck, that is heavy. No kidding, that's top heavy. I just could not move it myself. I had to jack it up so it's at least at that level. So hopefully I can lift it up now. Hopefully it doesn't fall the other way. <laughs> fuck, that is one of the heaviest things I've had to get off a trailer. That's minus an engine. But, bleh, they were easy. Just grab the crane. But this is kind of a bit awkward for the crane. Yeah, I got it off. Don't know how I'm going to move the bloody thing, but it's not on the trailer anymore. That's a start. But, um, yeah, quite interesting. Well, here's all the controls of this antique thing. There's your release valve. And release the pressure. That's where a gauge should be, so I can get a gauge to put on. That's your pump handle and rod screws in there. Um, and this seems to be where the reservoir should go. It looks like a container sits under here full of oil. And there are the pickups for the oil. You pump it. And that pumps oil in and off it goes. So I have to make up a little container and get some hydraulic oil. And then prime it all. And you see how much that leaks. <laughs> it's been sitting around so long I'd assume it needs seals, but we'll see what happens. That's a bloody decent hydraulic ram. A decent head on it, all fully adjustable. So, I have no idea how many ton this is, but I'm sure it's more than one of those cheap Repco ones or one of those cheap China ones. Fascinating. Hmm. Oh well, that's all I can really say about the subject at the moment. Need to clean. And it's heavy. I suppose I could also put a gauge up here. Hmm. Now this thing's proper. It's not just bolted together through here and through a pin through the middle there. It's actually welded together as well. Back when they made things proper. The way the release valve works is it just releases the fluid back down into the reservoir. It will be sitting there. 